wants to rotate a little bit, that's pretty normal. I can probably stop that with my foot real easy. Yep. See, it got neutral, that's a good thing. Got quite a bit of water intrusion from the back in. Uh, you see it be coming in around the shaft plug. We like to pull those up and uh, reseal those with the F5200. Um, that's probably once the keel expands, then that'll probably go away. Um, but overall, I don't see a lot of leakage. I've seen boats that when you push them in the water after sitting outside for even a year, uh, we'd already be pulling it back out. So uh, that's not a real, this doesn't look like a real big issue to me. Um, the ground cable on the battery is way too short. It's the battery falls in, it goes into the right position, the cable will actually touch on the flywheel. So that's going to need to be replaced. Um, but it is a ground cable, so it's not like it's going to spark, you just you need to get that replaced. These little guys are grease cups. You give them about a half a turn. You got one there, one, actually a two on this water pump, one here. You should have one. Uh, you've got a lubrication point, just 30 weight oil. Every so often, got another one up here. It's, uh, I'll get you the, the oiling schedule on that. And uh, she went right off, and I'm just sitting here running real nicely. So we're getting ready to take it off and uh, take it on a little sea trial, see how the transmission does in forward and reverse, and uh, how it does at speed. We got fuel. Yep, we got fuel. We got. Oil pressure, oil pressure I'm not sure is reading, which is a little scary. Doesn't look like the gauge is reading. We'll put a manual gauge on that. And, let me, and I'm going to check the oil manually one more time, make sure we got the right oil level before I go joyriding. Goodbye for now.